look a little crazy right now. I did just put some hair products in my hair and I just got out the shower. Um, and I opened the window, so if I'm looking out, it's just like cars and stuff rolling by. But it's currently 4.03. Today is Tuesday. Uh, I believe it's April the 11th. As you saw in the previous video, I was in the clinic. I still have the band-aid and stuff on because it hurts to take it off. But eventually, I'll take it off. Um, I ended up getting sick uh, due to like a stomach bug. And I'll go into more depth about that. But um, just like a warning, it is like some... <laughs> If you don't like talking about certain like bodily fluids, then you can go ahead and skip this part. But, um, so, like last week to like Thursday, um, my stomach was hurting and I just thought it was like the, the school food. Cause usually, sometimes when we're eating here, um, the school food will have you going to the bathroom a lot, if you know what I mean. So I just thought it was pretty normal. I just gotta go to the bathroom. So I went home because it was Easter break. And my stomach was hurting a little bit more. And like I said, I just thought it was like me having to go to the bathroom. And then also my uh, monthly was supposed to be coming on, which came on today, um, was also starting. So I just thought it was like cramps for that. So um, come Sunday, my stomach was hurting like really bad that morning, like so bad that I couldn't get up to go um, see my sister perform at church or I couldn't just do anything because my stomach was hurting that bad. So I stayed home and just thought it was just like me just having to go to the bathroom, felt nauseous. So I was like, let me just stay home and try to sleep it off. So I came like 10 o'clock, I finally got up and I was like, okay, I feel a little bit better. Let me try to pack so I can come back to school. So um, I packed and I was feeling a bit better um then we went over to my grandma's house to eat for easter around like three o'clock and then we ate and then my stomach was okay but then i had also took an extra plate so that i could take it back to the dorm so i got to the dorm and i ate the extra plate around like six and then my stomach started hurting like really really bad and then that night around like eight or nine, I ended up throwing up. And then um, I couldn't go to sleep until like four o'clock that morning because I was having false alarms and having to come to get up and go to the bathroom because I didn't know which end it was gonna come out of. It was like both. Um, so then I didn't go to sleep till about four, four thirty, four forty till six twenty, and then I got up. <laughs> And then I ended up, I, the only reason I woke up is because I had the urge to puke again. And I did, I ended up throwing up. Uh, and that time, it was like, not just one time, but it was like constant. So, um, it wasn't the Easter food. It was happening beforehand. I guess the food just kind of piled on top of the irritation. And it just made my stomach more irritated and it couldn't digest properly so I, it had no way to go so I ended up throwing it up so um, I was in the bathroom probably about an hour and yes I was crying because I don't like throwing up I don't like being sick at all and plus it was like a constant urge to throw up but it was nothing there so my stomach was like squeezing and contracting but nothing else was in there because towards the night I was just uh, drinking like fluids. Um, I was drinking like water and I've been drinking body armor and some Gatorade because I was trying to make sure I wasn't dehydrated because I knew that I didn't have anything else in my stomach. Cause Sunday, the only thing I ate was, I don't really think I even ate anything. I think I just ate the Easter food cause I knew that we were eating that night. So I um, only had like that food in my stomach. Um, and then the rest of it was just liquids and whatever else was digesting, I guess. So I was in the bathroom for a while and then I ended up, um, my dad was like, try to go to the clinic. So in, the, in our dorm room, in our dorm building, 
this one specifically has a clinic uh, on the first floor um so i ended up having to call them and i was trying to see if i can get someone to help me get up because i was so like bad off that i was lightheaded i was getting dizzy i was like nauseated um it literally took an hour for me to muster up the strength just to go downstairs with a trash bag in my hand to get a Sprite because I was that bad off. Um, I felt like I was going to pass out just for being in the elevator. What else was it? Yeah, pretty much a lot of dizziness and uh, nauseation. So I ended up making it downstairs and... I ended up getting two sprites. The first one I got, I paid for it, but then the second one, the machine stopped working. So the guy who was uh, already working on it, he just gave me the free sprite. And I was like, thank you. I really needed it. So I ended up going back up to my dorm room and I made it. And I just sat in the bathroom on a towel for like um, the, few, the rest of the hour until my appointment. Cause I had called to see if I could just walk in around 8.40. But she said they don't do walk-in, so she ended up making my appointment an hour later, which was 9.40. So I had to tough it out. And I wasn't, I didn't have any medicine here. The only medicine I have is Claritin. But I didn't want to take anything because I feel like I was going to throw it up. Um, I didn't even take my BC because I knew I was going to probably brought that up too. So the whole yesterday, which was Monday, I didn't eat it all. Because first of all, I wasn't even thinking about eating. So I wasn't hungry. I was just trying to make sure I up my liquids. But the doctor ended up coming in. They took my blood, um, my BP, weight. Um, he was pressing on my stomach when I had to lay on the table. And it was pretty much abdominal pains, which I already knew. And it was like my upper chest area started pressing down. And I was telling him it was like right up under my, um, my breastplate. And I guess it was like um, my intestines and stuff in my stomach. The food wasn't trying to digest or it was like a backup of stool. So he ended up giving me three different medications that I'm on. One is a nausea medication. One is for nausea. One is, uh, it says take after it says take 30 minutes prior to the first meal of the day. And I forgot what the other one is for. It's just all of these. So like made of words or something. But yeah, so I'm on pills for at least like maybe about three or four days, however long they last. And I don't know, light eating. I really didn't even want to eat. It took me about 30 minutes today to eat most of the strength to eat four crackers because I wanted to have at least something in my system because my stomach is starting to return back to how it usually feels when you're hungry and it's starting to try to growl and stuff. So I did have one pack of these right here. It's like just peanut butter crackers, but this morning I only ate like two of these, but I took the peanut butter out because I didn't, I wanted to see how my stomach was going to react to just regular crackers. And then I tried it with peanut butter and I felt fine. So today, well, like later, probably around after I end this, I'll try to eat this and that'll be it. And he told me just stay on a lot of electrolytes and water and try to get some rest. So he gave me yesterday and today off. And he was like, if you don't still don't feel well, then come back for it. And then he'll see what's going on and give me extra days. But I'm creating this video, which means I do feel a lot better. I was able to um, take a shower without feeling like I was going to throw up in there or just fall out. And then I was able to take out my trash today because I threw up in a trash can. I didn't throw up in the toilet because, <laughs> like I said, I thought it was going to come by both ends. But I took out my trash today and it was a good day to take it out because it was like really windy, which is good because I didn't need that heat on me. So I was able to get back to myself, cleaned up my room because I didn't even feel like myself. The room was crazy. Like I had empty bottles of water all in my bed. My clothes were just sitting on the table. I was like, I need to fix this room. So I do, one thing that I was upset about is I have a lot of work to make up now because I missed yesterday and today. 
So for drawing, I have about 18 drawing assignments to make up now because I missed, missed homework from last week that was due today, which was 16 drawing assignments. And I got to make up today's classwork. Additional to um, the homework that's due on Thursday, with a sketchbook assignment for drawing class. So I probably got about, I really got about over 20 drawings to do, but I do have some very good friends, thank God. And they said they'll help draw out the f format for me so that I can actually um, just go ahead and start drawing. So shout out to them. <laughs> so I do have a lot of work to make up tomorrow. Because I can't move on with any assignment until I get uh, today's homework uh, due for Thursday. And then I got to, me and Shelby are supposed to be working on uh, design homework on Friday. So I'm not too worried about that. It's really just drawing homework. Because like I said, our portfolios will be, our portfolio due dates will be coming up really, really soon since it's gonna be like the third and the fourth of May. And for school, it's only like four days that you go to school out of a week. So that's coming up like really fast. So um, the rest of the day, I am gonna, uh, I've been bed bound all day, except for when I did go out, just to throw my trash away. So I'm gonna keep upping my electrolytes and my water to make sure that I do uh, feel better, way better than tomorrow, way better for tomorrow, and that I can be able to go to class and focus. Um, so I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you guys know what's happening and kickstart this vlog because we are already getting it in for Tuesday. And mm, keep watching for more. One little boost to the self as later. building today from um I did go to my eight o'clock class oh let me start over hey how y'all doing <laughs> today is Wednesday um do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head April uh April 12th happy 12th yeah um, I am feeling a whole lot better. I feel more like myself today. I was able to laugh and feel I feel much better. I've still been taking my medicine like the doctor recommended. And I'm not really eating. I, well, I'm eating, but I'm not really. Because um, I'm kind of scared to just jump into like a whole platter of food right now. So I've just been making sure I've been up on my hydration. But... Today, I did not go to my 11 o'clock or one o'clock class because I, since I was sick for one day, like I told y'all, if I miss one day of drawing class, that's like you missing like, like a week pretty much. So 
over the break of Easter, he had already assigned his 16 drawing assignments. And he gonna say that, he told the class when I wasn't there, that he didn't even realize it was Easter. I was like, really? So, because I missed um, the homework for that day, I also had to make up the classwork and the other homework that's due for Thursday along with the sketchbook assignment. So I did have over 20 drawing assignments to do that I did just finish. I literally pulled a nine to five today. It is currently 6.01, I just got back to the dorm. I literally pulled a nine to five doing drawing work today um, because the formats took a long time to prep and literally having to sit there and draw for as long as he wanted uh, like some of them he wanted to be 30 minutes per drawing one of them it had to be like an hour and 20 minutes so actually given the time work it took a long time and the reason I wasn't so upset about having to miss class is because my my art history class all that work is already online all she does is just lecture over the work that we just have to look at on the slideshow and for English I had already turned in my work um, last night for her class. So she already had gave me the grade, so I wasn't too worried. So yes, I did pull it all day on there, but I'm happy to be caught up because his last work day for that class is April 25th, which is a week and some days away. So I'm almost done with work. And then the rest of the time until May 4th will be portfolio preparation because May 4th is his last class day. And that's when we have to turn in all the work that we've done for his class. So I needed to go ahead and get all that work done so that I wouldn't be behind. Because if you're missing one assignment, it's an automatic if. That's why it's so important for me to get all the work done. Because I can literally get an F for just missing one item. So I didn't want to be in that boat or have to deal with that pressure. So I was like, I'm going to go ahead and just get it all done. And I did. So all I got to do tonight is my sketchbook work, which is the last seven, because you have to have 83 pages of gesture. So this is our drawing, well, my drawing sketchbook. You have to have it labeled. And it's filled with, um, we have to go up to 83 pages. So currently, that's how he grades us. You either get a check, check plus, check minus, just a regular check or just however. So I'm currently on, I gotta do 77 through 83 because 83 is our last page. But all of this is pretty much full of gesture. And he um, critiques it, like if he likes it or not. And one time I did get my page, um, he was looking at it and showed the whole class because he really liked one of them. I can see if I could try to find it. So it was this one right here that he really liked. Can you guys see it? And then this is another one. So... I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. That way that'll be done for the whole semester. And then I could just focus on my other work. Thursday night, part of my final for 3D design. So what we have to do is the only shift available last minute, cause we tried, me and Shelby tried to do a 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. a shift for loading the kiln, which I showed y'all what happens when you put like the clay inside of the kiln, it disfires it and makes it like glossy. I'll show you another picture of um, what your project might look like. So when you enter it into the kiln, it pretty much fires it after you glaze it. So we have a shift to pull and we couldn't get the one that we wanted. So the only other option last minute, which is worth uh, 30 points on our final, was 11, uh, 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. on Thursday night. So me and Shelby have to make sure that we get up and we go to the 3D design building and pull that shift uh, so that we could be able to get our points for our final. So not too bad. 
Um, so yeah, for the rest of the night, I'm gonna just eat my salad that I got from the fridge, take my shower, relax, watch a movie, and just get ready for tomorrow. I don't really have anything else to talk to you guys about, but if I do, I'll make sure to pull out the camera. Bye guys. Hey guys, so I'm currently in the ceramics room and I just saw some of my pieces that got this fire today and I had carved my initials and stuff into it. And these are paint palettes that I made with like water cups. So I'm about to glaze them and then put them on the rack right there so that they can get fired again. And I'll show you guys. I can find a spot. There you go. So you just choose whichever one. And I'll just do this one so you can see it. And if you can't really hear me, it's raining outside. I'm sorry. So I realized that I didn't make a video for the footage that I'm going to show you. But last night, um, well, remember I was telling you guys about I had to pull 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. So I did that last night and I got a little bit of footage that I just wanted to show you guys about what we were doing. So think of it as like a huge chimney that has like a whole bunch of projects throughout it. And you have to keep the fire burning at a certain level, which was like 2000 degrees in order for all the uh, projects to properly glaze. So we were keeping it burning throughout the night. One part you had to throw actual like logs in 
And that was like a two-person thing because somebody had to open the door and then close it because the fire was escaping. And then the second one was like a side stoke, which is you just put like little um, little chunks of uh, wood and stuff in and make sure it keeps burning. But it was a really good experience. And yeah, I'm going to just show you guys um, some little snacks we had and a little bit of what we did. So Sammy, you the best of me. What were you at? You know, Just doing some activities. Scary. Hey guys, so I'm currently about to get ready to go um, to the art building so that I can get one of my folders to contain some of my um, work for design class because today is going to be a full on portfolio work day for my color design and I need to be able to get that work so that I can be able to put it in my portfolio for today. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to go get some uh, food from the cafeteria and come back here and go ahead and get started. So not too much to vlog today. I just wanted to introduce myself since I've been very consistent this week. I've been able to video, I think, every day since Sunday. So I just wanted to keep this up and it might not be too many videos like this so enjoy it while it lasts <laughs> but yeah i just wanted to come on and introduce uh today's vloggy vlog continuation and i'll talk to you guys probably tomorrow hey guys so i was editing the uh, the weekly vlog and i noticed that it needed a proper ending so i just wanted to close this out by saying thank you guys for your continuous support and constantly building up the numbers. So we are growing in size uh, slowly but surely. And I'm very grateful for you guys. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and continue to watch for more videos. Uh,